Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and today we will discuss about stages in digital evidence investigation process. So there are basically five stages in digital evidence investigation process and we will discuss them one by one. The first stage is assessment. It is a key point of investigation where the potentially relevant sources of information are identified. Without this stage, the chance to preserve and collect relevant material can be lost. This stage could also inform other activities including gathering information about possible passwords and attempts to attribute the sources to individuals as ownership of the device or a document can be a point of contention later on. In this phase, the investigator makes assessment of the situation and consider many factors for making an assessment like whether the investigation is to be performed internally or an external agency is to be involved, whether a search warrant is required. Also, some pre-search investigation need to be performed like gathering information about the infrastructure and assets of the company, gathering information about the employee who are directly or indirectly involved with the case, gathering information about the security incident team and their key skills, etc. Also, the investigator need to Prepare and check the Forensic Investigation Toolkit to conduct the investigation. He also need to brief the investigating team about the search strategy, guidelines to be followed while investigation, for example, maintaining the log of the event, chain of evidence and chain of custody. Chain of evidence is the process of documenting each and every step carried out during the investigation process to prove the authenticity of the digital evidence in the court. Next phase is acquisition. It is the process of gathering the data from wherever it resides. The most common collection approach is to create an image of a target device which can then be examined without altering the original exhibit. In a wider sense, this could also apply to aspects such as requesting and receiving communication data. Cloud storage is an increasing concern and whilst the forensic recovery of files stored remotely is possible, the subsequent analysis may require detailed knowledge of the application used. Complications can also arise from the data being held in the different jurisdiction. The goal of the investigator in this phase is to acquire the evidence in a forensically sound manner so that it is accepted by the court. It is good practice to record the physical attributes of every digital media like serial number, make, model, IP address and MAC address in case of network devices like NIC card etc and label them clearly so that they can easily be identified in later course of action. It is also a sound practice to gather information regarding the user login, passwords etc from the users and system administrators. Remember to use forensically clean storage device to store the evidence. For making copies of the digital evidence, use bitstream copy option which acquire bit by bit image of the original evidence and can be considered as equivalent to original for the purpose of investigation. Don't forget to calculate checksum or hash value of an original copy and duplicate copy. The same value of checksum and hash value will guarantee both the copies are technically same for the purpose of investigation. 
it is important to note that logs from the server firewalls routers and standalone devices should also be recorded precautions regarding static electricity and magnetic field should be taken while acquiring the digital evidence as it may alter data present in the digital devices therefore anti static bags are used to store the digital evidence the investigator must thoroughly examine the situation and if deemed essential a further search warrant may be required to search third party carriers like isp after acquisition the chain of custody which records the history of the custody of evidence is prepared and recorded next step is preservation preservation preserving the digital evidence is as important as acquiring it and proper care must be taken to preserve the evidence so that data stored in digital storage device can be used to investigate the case it is advisable to take the photographs of the computer cabling and the devices that are attached to the victim's computer which are as important as victim's computer also label the seized cable along with the media it is important to note that only forensically clean storage devices should be used to store the logs and other important digital information from the victim's computer avoid dust scratches and exposure to magnetic or electric field by using anti static bags care must also be taken to save the digital evidence from exposure to wireless radiations by storing them in wireless hold bags one must avoid the use of usb drive or fireware drive as they are as they change the state of the system intentional or accidental modification of data during the acquisition and preservation stage should be avoided and in case it occurs record the changes made by the system make the storage devices right protected in order to accidentally override the data after bringing the digital media to the forensic lab proper chain of custody should be maintained and these evidences should be stored in a physically safe location with access control facility also enough duplicate copies of the media should be made to carry out the investigation never use original media for carrying out investigation next step is examination and analysis the purpose of examination and analysis process is to make sense of the diverse digital data collected a range of tools and techniques are used for this in an effort to ensure that as much data as possible is available for review a lot of this data is of no relevance to the investigation but it may take considerable effort to get a good understanding of the relevance of material and to present it in an intelligible form this data is examined and analyzed to draw meaningful conclusions for the case the first and the foremost thing to be kept in mind is the examination should be done by a trained person as mishandling of digital devices may corrupt the data examination requires the data to be extracted to the test bed for analysis while examining the goal of the investigator is to find out if files folders emails partitions are deleted and use recovery tool to restore them also check if traces of data wiping softwares is present in the system so that special strategies could be used to recover data if the files and documents are password protected then check whether the password for the same are available else 
use password cracking software to crack the password and gain access to the file. The second important task after examination is analysis. It is the process of putting the different pieces of evidence together to allow conclusions to be drawn and ideas tested. Some units have dedicated analytical support available which is a useful resource but many investigators don't have routine access to analysts so it can be helpful for the investigator to be able to conduct their own analysis. The primary information is gathered based on the interviews conducted with the witness at the crime site which is then used to frame the keywords to search the relevant documents, files, etc. for investigation. The photographs, paper documents, seized during the raid, etc. are useful for analysis. The investigator look for document properties, file signatures, browser history, chat history, emails, printer spools, cache files, registry files, time frames, ownership information etc. to find clues and missing links. Hash values are compared to find whether a duplicate or multiple copies of file exist. If required, use decrypting software to decrypt the files if they are encrypted. The most important point in the analysis process is to keep the log of all the steps carried out during the examination and analysis phase, including the details of the keywords used, the list of search results returned using these keywords, searching methodology used while carrying out investigations, etc. And the fifth phase is documentation and reporting. The examination and analysis can be conducted at a highly technical level, but the information will ultimately need presenting to other individuals either elsewhere in the investigation or legal process who are not so familiar with the detailed process used and are more concerned with the usefulness of information provided. Therefore, documentation and reporting is a critical part of the digital evidence investigation process. During this phase, detailed report is performed which includes all the information related to the case like details of OS, software, versions, patches installed in the machine and detailed note about the action taken during the forensic investigations along with the keywords searches logs cache etc it also document any point that is contrary to the rules or to that which is normal or established it also consists of the details of data analyzing and the finding of the investigator. 